Satire warning. The following program is fake news and contains edginess, insanity, and an overdose of black pills. Viewer suicide is advised. Good evening, folks. Welcome to this evening's program here at Edgy News, Canada edition. Edgy News is a crypto news network functioning as a subsidiary propaganda outlet of CBC, the compromised brainwashing corporation. Failure to comply with our narratives will result in penalties to your social credit score. Tonight, we are sponsored by who? Yeah, that's right. We're uh, sponsored by the World Health Organization. Depopulating society since 1948. I'm your host this evening, Mr. Tie and Suit. Tonight, we'll be talking about COVID-19, infecting the social distance of essential workers in their quarantine lockdown of the COVID-19. Fear. COVID-19. Listen. Obey. Stay at home as we take away all your civil rights. And now we'll be rehashing some news from April, since all the news has been the same anyways. Tragedy struck as a man in Nova Scotia impersonating a police officer went on a murderous rampage killing 22 people. The RCMP managed to save hundreds of more people from dying by alerting the public via Twitter with their new social media campaign, hashtag active shooter. All 22 of the victims later tested positive for COVID-19, conveniently bringing all the current political narratives together. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau responded by extending the lockdown into a crackdown and banned over 1,500 military-grade assault weapons, including the big scary ones, ones that hide under the bed, and ones that the deer don't like. But you don't need an AR-15 to bring down a deer. The only gun now permitted for legal purchase is the gay R-15. In other news, Conservative Party candidate Derek Sloan was under fire for making comments that were deemed racist by members of both parties for making a video wherein he questioned whether Chinese Canadian health officer Teresa Tam had loyalties to Canada or China. Even the members of his own conservative party demanded that he apologize for his racist remarks. Others were critical of his statement as well, including renowned trans rights activist Derek Harrison, who claimed that Sloan was erasing Tam's trans visibility by failing to acknowledge Tam being the first male to female trans health officer in Canada's history. Another critic, deplatformed human rights advocate David Icke, stressed that Sloan erased Tam's interspecies visibility by failing to acknowledge acknowledge her status as a shape-shifting reptilian of the Anunnaki Federation. Either way, any words spoken by a white male that questions our narrative is hate. Which leads us to our final topic of the evening. Protests of the COVID-19 lockdown happened all over the world over this last month. The blatant lack of cooperation with our prepackaged narratives is a clear sign of hashtag white privilege. I mean, just look at this picture of this guy. Doesn't he look like a gross hillbilly? He probably fucks his sister. Look at all that honky, redneck, white trash privilege. So if you question our official narrative in any way, you are contributing to white supremacy and you want to lynch all black people. And that's it for the news, folks. Thank you for joining us this evening in these dark times. It is important for us all to be supportive of our global efforts to endure this pandemic and to stay positive. There are many brave people out there who are supporting their communities by reinforcing our agendas. So we'll leave you off with one last thing that made us all smile here at Edgy News. Here's a retarded retard playing an original song about the importance of social distancing. Enjoy and have a good night. I want a hug. I want a hug. No one won't hug me anymore to social distance. I want a hug. I want a hug. I told them it's a fake virus, but they still give me vaccines. <laughs>